A lot of people have been reaching out to me and asking me, hey, Cody, is there a lot of money in recruiting insurance agents? Okay, let's find out together. Okay, so I'm gonna walk through how to earn over a million dollars a year with only 50 producing agents, by the way. Okay, you could apply this to anything. Okay, you could apply this to um, MAPD. You can apply this to MedSup. You could apply this to FE. You could apply this to Life. Like there's just a lot of stuff you could apply this to. But here's what I'm gonna do, okay? So let's just say that you have, um, let's just say you have 50 people, okay? And when it comes to Medicare, these numbers will be even easier, by the way. I get with life, it's gonna be hard to pull off some of these numbers, I get it, okay? When you put something in the comments, not that I can't learn, but I generally like understand what's going on, right? So 50 people, it may take you a lot of people to get to 50 people. You take that times 200 apps per year, Okay, that's 10,000, I know, seems crazy, okay, but it's true, that's 10,000 pieces of business. Okay, that's 10,000 apps, right? If you take that, just times a $100 override, okay, $100 override, that is literally $1 million per year. Now, I was coaching an insurance agent yesterday that actually gets a $150 override on the product he was selling, I'm not gonna get too specific, in his case, all he needed was 50 good producers and he was gonna make $1.5 million per year without actually selling anything himself, okay? So if I was gonna jump back in the game of selling insurance, I can tell you, I would get really active on blowing it up. I wouldn't have 50, 50 people. I'd be saying, how do I recruit 100,000 insurance agents in like five years? I'd do something crazy nuts. It may happen later in my life, I don't freaking know, okay? All I know right now is I'm gonna help you win I'm not worried about recruiting anybody, okay? But what happens is most people struggle to get in front of people, right? Which is why we've come out with a new hiring program, okay? Where for $1,500 a month, we, w we will actually manage all of your recruiting and your hiring and actually send you resumes of people we've vetted. They're good candidates. They're interested in the position and they are ready to talk to you. Okay, we have a couple different levels. There's another level higher that we will actually even literally put interviews on your calendar so you wake up and talk to people and pull this off. Only reason you couldn't do this is if you're lazy, you don't believe it, you don't think you're ready, but I'm telling you, you're probably ready, okay? But the, the, th 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 the thing is, how do you find the people? Well, we did it, we're working with, a, we're working with an agent right now, okay? This, these numbers can blow your mind. I'm not, I'm not saying it's always gonna be the case, but and we gotta manage expectations, it's not always the exact same. We're working with an agent right now and literally in the last 45 hours, we've had over 200 agents reach out to join. These are a mix of licensed and unlicensed, by the way, okay? Licensed and unlicensed, reach out and want to talk to this specific hiring, to this specific agency owner, and we're assigning that owner an actual hiring, what we call an HM, a hiring manager, to actually manage the projects for him and to go find him people, okay? So the thing is, like, is there a question that you, like, what would be the reasons why you couldn't do this, okay? If you don't have a, um, okay, maybe you don't know, maybe you don't have a pipeline of recruits, Okay, like you don't know how to find good people. Let us do that for you. I've got over 100 staff here. We are phenomenal, my, my CEO Andy, we are phenomenal at adding and finding good people, right? Because then once you have a pipeline of people, then you gotta, okay, okay, how do we vet them? What should we look for, right? Like we look at their resume, we look at their social, we look at uh, online criminal background programs, like we look at all of it. Are they licensed, are they unlicensed? What's their experience look like? Like the vetting process is legit. Personality assessments, make them, we put them through the personality assessments, see what type of personality they have, which means if they're gonna be good at sales or not good at sales, it's kind of good to know, right? Then after we vet them, okay, then we want to do what? We wanna interview them, okay? After the interview, and we make sure that they know about us and they understand everything and there's a good potential candidate there, then we'll put them through an actual physical assessment, okay? And the assessment will tell us whether we should proceed into a second interview. Then we'll do a second interview, right? Or you'll do a second interview if this is, this is you, okay? When you do the second, first interview is all about um, us. The second interview is all about them, okay? And then after that, then we will actually 
meet with the executive team and make sure that this person is a good fit for the team. If they do, we will extend an offer, hire them. Then we will actually put them through a pre-onboarding, which is something they're doing before they even get here, right? Like but before they even start with our team, we're putting them through pre-onboarding. They're watching a whole video library of me before they even start, before day one. Tell me, this is one of the most valuable videos I've ever put out on like recruiting and hiring and scaling a team and actually onboarding properly. But trust me, our business expansion workshop and our hiring program and a lot of our coaching programs can actually teach you a lot more than this on actually scaling a real freaking brand and company. Then, then we actually have a full onboarding process of what they're gonna do for those first 72 hours. And then what do they do day to day? Right? So we, we've got all this planned out, it's mapped out, we wanna help you with it. And I can tell you that once you start doing some math, you start thinking, okay, how do I do big time numbers? You could say, Cody, um, I actually typically get like a $300 override on somebody. Okay, well then you pull these numbers off, but you're like, well, Cody, my, my agents only write 100 apps. Okay, fine, right? Take 50 times 100, that's 5,000, right? But you're like, you know what, they do 300, instead of, you know, a hundred bucks. Well, hey, that's still $1.5 million per year. Compared to this example, it's a little different because you're getting, you're doing less apps, but you have a bigger override, okay? So you can actually start to judge your own numbers of where you wanna be, but I'm telling you, you wanna grow a seven-figure agency growth operation. This is the answer also, okay? Also, I'm gonna lay all this out for only $49 on a workshop June 25th. Okay, June 25th. Uh, Dylan will put the link below. Again, it's in three weeks as of today. It's 49 bucks. We're, it, we're gonna literally walk through all of this. How you can, wh where do you find people? How do you make sure they're the right people? Because I'm telling you, nothing is worse than hiring someone that's the wrong person. People are the most important part of this game. Finding the right people can change everything. My question though, and my thought is, how confident are you that you're the person, you're the leader, you're the right person to really scale this thing, okay? Because growing an agency is not hard if you are the right person. I've coached several, six, dozens of six-figure earners that are trying to get to seven figures. If you're in the insurance industry and you wanna get to seven figures, you're gonna want to, at some point, hire me for coaching, training, hiring, you're gonna to wanna to hire a marketing company maybe, or you're gonna to wanna to come to one of our events. Why? Because we spend all of our time helping people just like you go from not even six figures yet, okay? That's okay, but we can get you there, easy. People earning six figures right now and actually earn seven figures later. And I know deep down, that's where you wanna be. Hey, if you love this, okay, I can promise you, I guarantee it. The next one, maybe better. All right, my first investment, I guess our first investment in real estate is a climate controlled self storage unit. The building's 10,000 square feet. I've got all the numbers and all the details for anybody that ever wants to own a real estate property.